The weather is due to change. The coldest Christmas in four decades. Life-threatening wind chill, even as far south as Florida. The propane's nearly run out. I can hardly open the door. I'm going to head down through Miami and we'll be on the keys for tomorrow night. Checking for alligators and bears. <laughs> So we've pulled over to the side of the road and we're in a recreational area, which I'll show you in a second. And uh, Lindsay's knocking up a spot of lunch. I am. What do we got? So far, some lettuce with ranch dressing. I've just put some onion in that. Uh, tomato and onion salsa and some cucumber. I'm just using the, there's some outdoor picnic table. So I'm just trying to get as much ready as possible and then we'll go out and eat it. Awesome. And then I'm going to make some flatbreads with leftover mints from a little while ago and some cheese that I bought this morning and just make them into like quesadillas. Right. And the boys are out there kicking the football around. <laughs> One of the best things they did was buy that football when we got here. And out here, we've got some nice picnic benches and a lovely view over the lake. It's a perfect stop for a bit of lunch. That was lovely, thank you, my love. Wasn't it? Knocked up some old leftovers into a nice picnic by the side of the road yeah. and the lake. It's beautiful, isn't it? Checking for alligators. <laughs> and bears. And bears. But yeah, we saw some bear signs on the way. Daytona Beach. I can see the sea. Should we go and take a look? Yep. <laughs> Bro, I think I should have brought my hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> it's not cold, cold, but it's uh, it's not glorious basking in the sunshine. And I'm guessing now. that water's not going to be warm. No, no, that's the Atlantic. That's come all the way from the UK, which <laughs> is frosty. Right, we'll seize in. Well, we made it, Daytona. Should we drive down? south and see if we can find somewhere for the night? Yeah, let's go and chase the sunshine. Right, we've driven a bit further south. We did head to Daytona Beach, we got out, and it was a little bit cold, I must say. Too chilly to hang around there. So we headed south and we're at another Cracker Barrel for the night because we pulled up late and it's not worth paying for a campsite when you pull up late, is it, George? No. So Linz has headed into Cracker Barrel to get a bit of dinner for the boys. Um, me and Linz aren't hungry. In fact, Harry's not that hungry either. Hey. Okay, dinner. <laughs> what you got? I've ordered two meals because the portions here are just huge and and they're just huge, so we just need two meals. So. Right, dinner's done, and we're going to put on Louis Theroux and Bear Grylls that I downloaded on iPlayer before we came away. I remember seeing my mum and dad bawling their eyes out driving away, and I remember thinking, I couldn't figure out what part of nature thinks this is a good idea. You know? Good morning. Are you going to carry on singing, love? No. <laughs> <laughs> One disadvantage of staying at a Cracker Barrel um, look how tight it is here. I can hardly open the door. In fact, I can't open the door fully. <coughs> We're packed in pretty tight. But I guess I'm used to that with European airs. And look at the size of these beasts. It makes this thing look small. You know that we are a very tech hungry family. Um, Steve needs data when he's doing the videos and uploading them. The boys use data for their schoolwork, for staying in touch with their friends and keeping in touch with their social medias. And I run our business using online data. And when we're away, we all like to stay in touch with our friends and family using all sorts of online different systems. We all use Surfshark wherever we're on public Wi-Fi. And on this trip, it's been the airport, on the aeroplane, we've been in shops, we've been in restaurants. Whenever we get the opportunity, we jump on a public Wi-Fi because we've not got any data on our phones. If you don't know what Surfshark is, it's a VPN and that's a virtual private network. What Surfshark does is creates a safe tunnel between our devices and the internet. And that protects us from baddies and also from big corporations that want to steal our data. On this trip I've also used it to set our IP address to the UK so I can book Eddie a driving test and even pay our corporation tax. We've used a VPN for several years now and we've chosen Surfshark because it allows unlimited devices on one account. If you're looking for something that can protect your data and your identity online 
or if you want to change your IP address so you can get access international content, then you might want to give Surfshark a go. Use the link in the description and the code RADFORD for an 83% discount plus three months completely free. And we want to say a huge thank you to Surfshark because without their support, we wouldn't be able to do these incredible trips. <laughs> We're chasing the sunshine because it was a little bit cold. It was a lot cold last night. I'm not going to lie. Not as cold as back home though. Um, so we're chasing the sunshine and heading south. And we've moved from Daytona and we're actually on Coca Beach, which was the very first place I stayed at the very first time I came to Florida with my grandparents and my family. Maybe 40 years ago? Gosh. Really that long ago? Yeah, I know. You can't <laughs> believe it, can you? <laughs> It does feel much warmer here today than it did at uh, yesterday at Daytona Beach, doesn't it? it? Yes, absolutely. And it is beautiful. It's such a lovely beach. Right, how's the water, George? It's cold. Is it? Freezing. <laughs> Do you know why it's cold? Um, because it, is, it goes to England, I think. It's the Atlantic Ocean. No, it cold you. <laughs> the other side is not so cold. <laughs> Goalkeeping skills, go! <laughs> George, go! What? Oh, lovely, sir. <laughs> I want to travel at night and just soak up every last minute of the sunshine. It's so nice. But we're going to head further south because the weather is due to change. Forecasters say a major winter storm which is sweeping the US this week may bring the coldest Christmas in four decades. We're expecting life-threatening wind chill even as far south as Texas, Florida and the Bahamas. After playing on Coca Beach this morning which was fantastic, weather was great, we chose to take the drive all the way down the coast on the A1A and that took us about an hour and a half. We're going down the strip which is just off the mainland and uh, the places we came across were fantastic really really enjoyed them um, starts off with these nice little kind of um, holiday hut homes then going off to gated communities and ungated communities and uh, and then on to the big tower blocks at the end but yeah it was about an hour hour and a half drive down there then the kids are hungry so they wanted chick-fil-a so we've just pulled over to chick-fil-a now we're going to head in and see what they've got to eat <laughs> it's very good burger very good chicken burger. We went for the spicy deluxe and it was very tasty. So the kids have been going on about Chick-fil-A since we got here. It was their favourite fast food last time we were here. And it's all they wanted to have when we are here this time. And I've got to say, I've forgotten how good it is. No wonder the queue is just backed up on the highway. It's lunchtime and it is really, really busy here. So yeah, Chick-fil-A, 10 out of 10. Right, we've had the heating on for a couple of nights and the propane's nearly run out. So I've poured into a U-Haul where hopefully we can fill the tanks. So we had a quarter left and he's fitted five gallons in and that's filled us up. And that was pretty reasonable too. It's uh, 20 bucks 75, which is 17 pounds and 12 pence. Okay, we need fuel. But look at the choice of all the fuels we got here. Look, non-ethanol, diesel, unleaded, plus and premium. But we're going for the 87 octane unleaded at 296 per litre. I love that. You can just click it open and stand back and let it fill itself. Perfect. And check this out. Bit of advertising at the pump whilst I'm filling. <laughs> So Lindsay has just grabbed a last minute booking at uh, Baja Honda. It's a campground we've been trying to get into on the Keys for tomorrow night. So we've got a bit of driving left today. We're gonna head down through Miami, break the back of the driving today, and we'll be on the Keys for tomorrow night. Hey honey, you got a little drink there? Oh, it's foul. Eddie chose it. He uh, was popping into the loo and has left me to pay. I've just had a little sip and it's the most disgusting thing ever. <laughs> I think it's cherry. Well, hi. Hey. You want to sip of that, George? <sighs> it's Eddie's. Well, we're showing it. That's good. <laughs> and? Oh, I got Reese's pieces. Of uh, Reese's chocolate. Oh, I love them. Me too. Fantastic. Me too. But 
Right, full tank of fuel, and we've got to break the back of the drive to get down to the yes, state park. Yes, have you tomorrow. just told them? I did mention it. <gasps> got the one that we've been waiting for. Yes, yeah. and there's one more we want to do. If we can get that, we've got all three of the state parks that we want to do on yeah. the keys. But yeah, and that's a challenge. It's tricky. Well. You've got to jump yeah. on them as soon as they come up. Right. Next stop, Palm Beach. We've had a long old day of driving. Um, we've seen some really beautiful sights all through Palm Beach. It is beautiful, really nice. I think we even drove past Donald Trump's place, I think. I'm not sure, but it looked very beautiful. We have pulled up at a Cracker Barrel again for the night because we pulled in late. We don't want to pay for a campsite when we're literally just going to be here. But we've eaten in Cracker Barrel so much. We've come across the way to a pizza place and ordered two large pizzas, and they look large too, don't they? They look enormous. I didn't realise how big they were until someone was walking out with their delivery. <laughs> um, we have managed to book in for an extra night on the Keys tomorrow night, so we've got probably another three and a half, four hours drive tomorrow to get down to the Keys. Mm. So we'll rest up here tonight and carry on on the road in the morning. Pizza for breakfast for the next couple of days then. <laughs> Them kids are hungry, they'll get through that. I was going to say, if only the fridge in the RV worked. <laughs> so the pizza beat us, Linz. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> I think you well and truly beat the pizza. <laughs> but we got breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Good morning. Good morning. We've woken up again and a beautiful sunny day today. Oh, isn't it? it's a beautiful day. And it's exciting. really warm last night again. Didn't need to heat it on last night like we did the night before and nope. the night before that. No. Nope. Because we're heading further south, aren't we? Yeah. These Cracker Barrel stores are amazing. They're fantastic. It was a big driving day yesterday. And the last thing you want to do is drive until late, then find a campsite, pull in there, pay to stay all in the campsite. All your money. Take all, all money. my money. Take it all. Then to leave first thing in the morning like we're doing now. So that's mm. where these Cracker Barrel stores have been perfect, just perfect for this. Yes, and they're usually around like district centres as well, so there's other stuff as well. Last night we had pizza mm -hmm. from across the road. There's also a bakery there and a CBD store. <laughs> if that's your thing. Medical marijuana. Thing, we, we always pop in the mm. Cracker Barrel store though and buy something and that's the main thing as well. We wouldn't yeah. want to take the mick and just stay here without at least buying a little something like we've done for the boys. Yeah. And what have you. Anyway, today we're heading further south, we're heading to the Keys. About another four hour push. We're going to go shopping first. We are. I'm making Steve go to Publix and not Walmart because Publix is a food supermarket, not a superstore with everything. Nothing wrong with Walmart. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with my Walmart? Nothing's wrong with it, but <laughs> it's time to diversify. Okay. However, if I see an Aldi, I might go there instead. Let's get on the road, shall we? Yes. So what's this public? It's like a, an upmarket Walmart, is it? No, it's just a, a supermarket with a pharmacy as well. Okay. So Walmart is a supermarket with a pharmacy and a household and a... If, if they haven't got it, you don't need it. Whereas Publix is just food and pharmacy. I've got to say, love, I do like the uh, look of this Publix a lot more than the Walmart. I know. It's proper, but look what they got here. They've even got a Coke machine where you can get Coke, probably with free refills, in the supermarket. So, of course, we're going to get some wine in for Christmas, and we're looking at the Saint Blancs, and look what she's found. Villa in Publix. How these people do not um, sponsor us, I do not know. Right. <laughs> they probably know they don't need to. <laughs> <laughs> Four mm. enough. That's what they've got. <laughs> Cleaned them out of Yeah, that's fine. See, Steve, I told you Publix was the right one to come to. They've got four different pothics as well. They've got Dark Inferno, that sounds good. A Crush, the Reds. They've not got the Cab, which is my favourite so far. Mm. Right. I've not been drinking while we've been here, so I'm thinking maybe a bottle of wine or two. Well, it is Christmas. Well, that was an experience. I can see why Publix is just a step up on the Walmart, isn't it? It's a few steps up from Walmart. <laughs> and we've got some nice fresh meat, rice fresh, right. um, salads and veg and drinks. And two people asked, do I want help taking a shop into the car while I was there? Right, I have been enjoying driving the A1A all the way down so far. Um, but if I carry on doing that, it's probably going to take us at least six hours to get to the Keys. Um, and we are going to Bahia Honda State Park and that's three and a half hours if I take the freeway. So that's the way we're going to take now and get there as soon as we can because we've got a reservation. Here, listen to me start this engine. How <laughs> calls 
место. Whilst Lindsay knocked up a bit of lunch, I popped into the Florida Keys Visitor Center. Hey, George, what you found? Just some fitness stuff. Good boy. Well done, buddy. Thanks. Hey, Mum's knocking up some lunch. You want to get a sandwich? All right, yeah. Come on in. Hey, honey. Such a helpful man in the uh, visitor center. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, really friendly. He's given us a couple of options for uh, things to do and possibly a park for tomorrow oh, night. fantastic. That we're going to be driving past shortly. Storms are brewing. <laughs> it is, it is. Look at the amazing birds. I went to keep those two ladies who worked in there. They were lovely. <laughs> yeah. Right. Let's go and find our pitch. Oh, we've got a special one. Guys, we're going to leave you here. Yeah. Um, we're going to find our pitch, but do join us again next week when we're going to show you this awesome campsite.